happy September, everyone. Uh, you find me here at midnight. Got to be up at about half five in the morning for work, just quickly putting some bits and pieces together. Nothing's changed, as you can see. <laughs> well, regarding this month, I'm not entirely sure still what's going on. I uh, Something I didn't film from last month's vlog was that I met up with Pete Adams. Um, I haven't seen him since January. And uh, obviously, for obvious reasons. Um, but it was good to see him. Uh, we sat down, uh, got ourselves some lunch and just sort of caught up a bit. But um, I didn't film it because it was just the, it was nice to see someone again. It's a bit odd as well, you know. You find yourself a little bit more socially awkward as a result. It's a bit odd, but we got over that. Yeah. Um, other than that, this month I've got not really sure to be honest. I've just finished editing the uh, podcast for Overton Audios, and now I'm just sorting out work, and I'm gonna hurry up and do that. So you'll catch me in another clip, but. Until then, welcome to September. So, um, <laughs> it's halfway through September now. I've really not done any filming at all for um, the monthly vlog. And I thought now would be a good time to do it because I was sorting out all the footage, realising that I hadn't and it was still on my phone. So here I am, my hair's getting a bit mad again. Slowly but surely. You're going to need another haircut soon. But, um, I've been... You know my catchphrase, keeping busy, but um, I have been doing that. I've uh, found a lot more time to get some editing done. Um, we've had a lot of delays with more recording, basically, because um, there are some actors who um, don't have their own microphones. So um, we usually meet up with them, but it's been difficult because, um, for example, something that we're recording with Dan, um, one of the actors, because Dan's sorting it out, uh, one of the actors lives in England, but I can't travel over there, and neither can Dan, so Dan's sending off a microphone, but it's been four months now, <laughs> and we're just like, oh. so we're getting there, but I'm also getting some editing done, we've started doing Doctor Who Resurrection uh, audiobooks, which are coming out next year. I'm looking forward to, uh, well, the, um, we did the first one and it was, re it's really easy to do, but it's nice to delve into something new, you know, not have to worry about waiting on eight to 10 people to record. And then, um, yeah, you only have to wait on one person when they record, you edit it really. So I, I'm enjoying that aspect of it. <laughs> But, um, yeah, I've been working on the Torchwood audio drama that I mentioned in the, the, pod, the Overton Audios podcast months ago. Um, finally doing that, about a quarter of the way through that. And what else? <laughs> I think that is it for now. Um, still trying to think about what else. Still working on Crimson Hunter. And that's it for now. Last month or two has made it quite difficult for me to do any editing. It's been a good break, um, but now I'm at a point where I'm like, oh, uh, even though I've cut down on the amount of audios I'll be doing in the second half of next year, um, if I don't start now, I won't have anything. So um, I'm working on that now. So um, yeah, but work stuff has been a nightmare as per usual. So, yeah, and in terms of moving, things are just being slow because of COVID. So, yeah, and there's obviously the threat of a second lockdown. So that's another problem. But, you know, so, um, yeah, we'll, we'll get through it. I'm just glad to have a little bit more time to get some editing done, really.
Hello everyone, and uh, another, well, another little update from me. Um, so, I don't know if, still yet to find out a time as of recording this, but at some point today, PMG will be showing up to say hello, which is good. Um, looking forward to seeing him again, we might be recording some bits of a podcast a bit early, because we happen to be seeing each other and it's going to be easier when we're together, then it will be... Uh, doing anything else um and as well as that i've got quite i've got quite a few audios done this month uh we got the tortured audio finished um and i've been working on more of uncharted past volume 4 which is of course it's had its delays because of lockdown some people can't record um remotely so i think i've mentioned this before anyway <laughs> but um that's still ongoing i need to get back on writing soon because i had a, i had a gap and got mostly most of the things edited but those who know me know that i go through kind of different uh, phases you know i write a lot and i make up a huge huge backlog and then i um <laughs> And then I stop writing for a bit and only focus on editing and then all of a sudden, wow, I'm back on the writing again. Yeah, so um, we'll see how much I get written. Um, I've, I've got a lot of work to do today as um, when PNG arrives, probably very little will get done. So <laughs> I am um, trying to get most of it done now before his arrival, whenever that may be. That's part of the mischief and surprise of it. That's weird, because um, when I started, this is the fifth month of the monthly vlog. When I started this monthly vlog five years ago, I um, I I was living somewhere else by myself, and it wasn't my choice. So now that we're finally getting to a point where I've been in a safe place mentally as well, um, and now I'm getting out, getting ready to move out and sustain myself properly without the the culture shock of it all i'm i'm looking forward to it and um it's daunting but exciting at the same time and that's something i quite like so yeah um maybe i'll film something with pmg we will see if not this clip might not even make it in we will see <laughs> hello pmg hello that's me my name is pmg <laughs> yes <laughs> um you might be the f first other person to properly be in this vlog all year. Probably, yeah. Yeah, because you were last in it in January with all those Instagram... Do you remember when we were sat at yes, uh, yeah. Planet Hollywood? Planet Hollywood, there yeah. With uh, all the different... Um, Chelsea and Chelsea, Pete Adams and Chris, Chris, Chris Marsh. Yeah. Yeah. And we did all those different filters. Yeah, all the silly stuff. Yes. <laughs> and uh, now you are here. You've doing, come over doing to less say, silly stuff. <laughs> yeah, you've come over to say hello. Yeah. And um, we had to get some work done. Yes. Shout about that. Woo! Hooray. Hooray. <laughs> Recorded some of the podcast. Yes, that was fun. That's it's nice good. to get on the podcast again. That'll be uh, in November. That comes. <laughs> so <laughs> only a good. couple of months. <laughs> yeah. Um, well, well, roughly a month. A month, month and a half, half really. Yeah. Time yeah. When I have to this really, comes out. About a month from now when I have to start thinking about that one. Yeah. So, yeah. It's all good. Okay, well. That's it, that's the... Uh... You'll be seeing me in about October. Will I? Not you, them. Oh. <laughs> you mean you mean November, man? The November podcast. Yeah, they won't see me in the podcast. They'll see me in the vlog. They'll hear me in the podcast. <laughs> oh, okay. Here in the UK, we mourn every person we've lost and we grieve with their families. And yet I'm more certain than ever that this is a struggle that humanity will win, and we in this country will win. And to achieve what we must, I want to talk to you directly tonight about the choices that we face, none of them easy, and why we must take action now. I know that we can succeed because we have succeeded before. When the sickness took hold in this country in March, we pulled together in a spirit of national sacrifice and community. We followed the guidance to the letter. We stayed at home, protected the NHS, and saved thousands of lives. And for months, with those disciplines of social distancing, we've kept that virus at bay. 
Never in our history has our collective destiny and our collective health depended so completely on our individual behavior. If we follow these simple rules together, we will get through this winter together. There are unquestionably difficult months to come and the fight against COVID is by no means over. And I have no doubt, however, that there are great days ahead. But now is the time for us all to summon the, the discipline and the resolve and the spirit of togetherness that will carry us through. So today you join us on another site. Um, and you've probably just watched a little segment that I um, filmed with Boris. With Boris. <laughs> not with him at all. Um, another speech, which was not one, so lockdown's not happening, but a version of it is. That puts my housewarming plans right out the window for when I move. Yeah, it's going to be a weird six months. One thing I'm thinking about is we're nearing the end of this year and I always usually have a yearly compilation of what I've been up to. Nothing. <laughs> we're only going to have January and February of like maybe a bit of March with with friends. But then afterwards, it, it's a bit of filming in July. That was PMG, obviously. Um, but the rest of it's just going to be people walking around in masks or me talking like this. It's weird, isn't it? Yeah, um... Yeah, construction is still working. Well, I'm so glad they mentioned that on the speech. Like, Boris mentioned that because the first lockdown, he didn't mention anything to do with construction. So as a result, nobody knew what to do because there's so much money that gets poured into this industry. If you choose to stop it, you can be fined millions. Not fined millions, but charged millions because you're holding up the job. If the government stop you, they cover you via insurance. So the fact that they've made it clear that you have to carry on means that, you know, if you know it's, I know it's not ideal, at least it's some clarity rather than just nothing. So, yeah. Either way, the world... Yeah, the I don't know what I was going to say. The world is the world. <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, I'm going to go to work. Hello, everyone. Uh... I am ending the vlog now. Uh, I've also got a bit of a cold since between filming that clip and when I came home. I've got a sore throat. That's gone away now. I've just got a bit of a re... I've just got blocked nose now. But it's been a few days since. And I'm not going on site again for another couple of days. So, um, you know, that helps. I know it's not, it's not COVID, but, you know, being ill doesn't exactly make you the strongest... You can be, so I suppose it's a positive. Uh, we will see about uh, next month. <coughs> Apparently, I might be moving next month. Um, I know I've got a set date from everything that, that's going on with that whole moving situation. That I, I'll definitely be moving at least by December. But uh, I have been thinking about what's... Because I've been actually been editing the monthly vlog so far. I've been thinking about... What a weird year this has been. I know it's the new normal, but I'm looking at old footage from last year as well, watching old vlogs, and it's a completely different thing. Like a year ago, I went and saw Colin Baker and Nicola Bryant at the BFI with Sam, and then also went to see Kate's uh, play that was written by Tristan and uh, Joe. And I was there for, I was around theirs for the whole weekend, like a three day weekend thing. And you couldn't, you can't do that now, and it's it's just kind of like I know, I know it's not news, but it's just weird when I look back on footage from a year ago, knowing that that was three months before the first case of COVID, and and how fast it's spread, and how much the world has changed. It, it, it's just such a weird thing. If you, like the closer we get now to the end of the year, when I'm looking back on clips, it would just be like watching. A sort of countdown kind of thing. I don't know, maybe that's a bit insensitive to say, but like, it is just very odd to look at. I think that was a completely different time for me now, for everyone. So, um, 
Yeah, but fingers crossed things work out next month. I don't want to hold anything to it because, again, the problem has been COVID. Again, and because of the whole moving thing and now with Horace saying, you know, don't mix households, it's a kind of thing of like, well, what if I'm moving there? Does that mean I can go? You know what I mean? It, it, it's all sorts of things. So who knows what it actually means? <laughs> so, yeah, anyway, hopefully next time you see me, I'm not so nasally because uh, I could get the feeling I'm becoming it. But I've, to end it on not such an ill note, I've been doing a hell of a lot of editing recently. Uh, first day of an editing monthly vlog, I've got to edit the podcast. God, that's going to be a long one. And then I've been editing World of Crimson Hunter, which will be uh, well, should be done by the time, hope, fingers crossed, by the time you, you, you join me on the monthly vlog. Uh, you'll probably find out next month. <laughs> so, yeah, I will uh, speak to you later. And, uh, yeah, farewell. <laughs> Yeah.